<sighs> Looks like this royal pain is going to be as thoroughly unpleasant as the other. <laughs> oh, Phoenix, we love you. Ah, <sighs> who will be this decisive witness? Let's take a look. Oh, the witness is the guy who did it. Of course it is. <laughs> but look at his shirt. He's police, so he's credible. Of course, of course. Of course, he's police, so of course he wouldn't lie in the courtroom, would he? And of course he wouldn't be the one bombing courthouses and shit. Oh my god, his name is Ted Tonate. His name is literally... Look, he's dressed like a fucking bomb squad. Like, come on. Oh, look, bomb disposal specialist. Wait, okay, so... I'm gonna, well, okay, so if he was a decisive, like, like, he was a very credible witness, whatever, right? Like, he would, his testimony is, like, definitely pointing to Juniper. Then, like... That means he was in the area because the case was about a bombing. Then wouldn't he have known that... I mean, they everyone knew there was a bomb in the stuffed animal, which means he should have... If he... Let's pretend... I don't know if he was. Maybe they'll say that he was. Maybe they'll say he wasn't later. <coughs> Excuse me. But that means he might have been the bomb disposal specialist. <sighs> Bomb disposal specialist from the previous case um, from the day before, and he didn't do his job right in disposing of the bomb adequately that was in the stuffed animal, which makes him very suspicious to me, if he was actually part of the thing in the day before, but who knows. <clears throat> Vince, oh my god. He can! <laughs> How, but I would, I mean, oh, okay. Energy expediture. Speaking, typing, uh, okay. Okay. Mr. Tony was in charge of the bomb for that trial and was there when it went off. Which means it's, isn't it suspicious that he didn't do his job right? And like, let the bomb just detonate in the courtroom? Like, how is that not suspicious? I don't, I don't get it. He's not on here. Okay. So I was right. He was in charge of that bomb. Is no one's brain working here? <laughs> I mean, it's Ace Attorney, so of course it's not. But... <laughs> Being a bomb squad specialist, did you have any relation to the victim? I mean, he's a bomb... Again, I don't know why they didn't put it to get, like... He okayed the bomb being in the courtroom, like, while the thing was ticking, he was just like, whatever. I mean, we saw that, but still. Eh. 
Okay. Why were you shocked? <clears throat> hmm. <clears throat> so, he was the first to discover the body, was he? He is here to testify about the circumstances surrounding the moment of the explosion. Why do my ears... Why do my ears kind of feel like plugged up? Okay, they don't anymore, but that was weird. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> God. Witness testimony, okay. When the bomb went off, the bomb was originally disarmed by me, then transported here as evidence, which... Okay. Bomb name HH3000, operated by timer or with a remote. I was watching from the gallery when I suddenly became alarmed. God, what?! <laughs> I saw that the bomb's timer was counting down. Wait, but how does that... Okay. Well, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe there's more to it, I don't know. So, even though the bomb was supposed to be disarmed, it somehow got switched on. Precisely, activating the timer is very simple, okay? Connect wires, switch on timer. Oh, hold on. Activating the timer is very simple. Connect wires, switch on timer... As I've seen in TV, on t in TV, on TV and movies and shit, it's not that simple, but okay. A monkey could do it. I am sure even you would be able to do it, Mr. Wright. Wow. Look at that stupid face as he said that. Oh my God. Dude, you just insulted Phoenix. I do think they did the robotic text-to-speech as a gimmick and not something they thought of as a way to real... As a way real people communicate, because telescope eyes aren't an accommodation. No. <laughs> Come on. I mean, even if Phoenix couldn't do it, that's not his job. He didn't study that. He studied art and law. Oh. <clears throat> I'd like now. I'd now like to begin my cross examination. Uh huh. What are you doing? Oh, look! A red, yellow, and blue wire. What are you doing? A, a bomb? Great googly moogly! <laughs> And you spoke normally this time. Hmm. 5.3 seconds, 0 0.2 seconds short of my personal best. Why? <laughs> Great googly moogly. Wait, if he was able to disassemble that, why didn't he just disassemble? <sighs> Whatever. Don't put it back together. Disarm equals success. Explosion equals failure. Love. Lovely. I do wonder if the nastiness from Ted could be from a bias of people in the police department disliking that Phoenix got his badge back. <gasps> that might be true. Phoenix is a thorn in their side because he's that good. <laughs> he's that good. Uh, I mean, he kind of blunders his way through, but... didn't think about that till now that is an interesting thought though it could be Um, 
hold on. So... He said he took a photo right before? Hold on. Submitted a photograph of the real bomb taken just before the trial. Um... Here's my thought. Uh... The... Well, okay, hold on, hold on. Well, let me read this first, and then I'll, I'll share my thoughts. Dimensions, 10 by 10 by 10. Uh, weight, 12 pounds. A perfect replication. Okay. Yes, however, I could not replicate the detonation mechanism. It has a very puzzling wiring setup. It is regrettable I could not replicate it. No, we are very glad that you couldn't replicate it. Thank you. All right, now. Hold on, hold that thought. Okay. No, 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 okay. Uh, wait, hold on, what? Case, 5 16 inch alloy plating. Okay, so <clears throat> the... Is that like... Oh, 8.56 a.m. So that was taken right before the trial, I'm guessing. Um, there is a crack... ...in... ...the, um, the display, the number display. Um... And I'm wondering if the bomb was, like, replaced, maybe? I don't know. Um, the time of death for uh, Candace was between 8 and 11. So I I'm wondering if she had died before the trial. Um, because the... I feel... Because from what I understand, the trend here is the trials kind of start after 9... 9 something, 9.30 or whatever. Um, so there is a slight chance that she was killed before said trial and never really got the chance to go on the stand. impact with the flat object and then maybe well I mean I don't know if I would call that flat I'm wondering if she was killed by this but I don't know if what I said earlier was true but who knows all right and now if the defense would begin their cross-examination huh? where has Miss Sykes gone to probably still scared from the possible explosion. Athena, you can come out now. Okay, Mr. Wright, let's get to work. <laughs> I guess you were pretty scared, huh? I mean, anyone would be scared. Jeez. What? I I don't know what you're talking about. She was about to bolt. <laughs> Thank you, Widget. <laughs> as, transparent, as transparent as ever. Now, let's see... Where were we? We were at the cross-examination. Oh, cross-examination! Of course! She seems disoriented. I wonder if she's alright. Maybe I should ask Athena if she remembers how to cross-examine to help her focus. <laughs> Aw, Phoenix is now in Mia's... Uh, yeah, Mia's shoes. Like, officially. Not like Apollo Justice. He's like, fucking with him. But like... For real. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, let's just ask for the game's sake. Um, Athena, you remember how to conduct a cross examination, right? What? Of course I do. What kind of lawyer would I be if I didn't? Now, now, don't get upset. <clears throat> but what do you say to humoring me with a little review? You got it. 
Basically, we examine a witness's testimony and compare it against the court record, searching carefully for any inconsistencies. This green text- oh my god, I didn't- okay. This green text represents a witness's testimony. We can use L, left stick, to advance to the next statement of their testimony. <clears throat> and L backwards to go back to their previous statement. Paying close attention to the testimony, we should keep an ear out for anything strange. And be prepared to present with R our case via the record, the court record. The court record contains information on all the evidence we have at our disposal. We can use it to look for facts that conflict with what the witness has said and present with X any counter evidence we find to refute their statement. How cute I never did this part. They let Athena be competent. Oh yeah, I know. I like to think that this part, obviously it's not like required, but it's a good way in a sense to bring the confidence back up by letting her explain things. <clears throat> So now she is more confident in herself because she knows what she's doing. And I think that's so cute. And what if nothing conflicts with the witness's testimony? Well, that's when we press L, the witness, for more information. Find any inconsistencies or lies in the testimony and reveal them to the court. And that's, <clears throat> excuse me, that's what cross-examination is all about. Oh, that's so cute. I love this so much. <laughs> Looks like you remember it just as I taught it. And it was a nice refresher course for me. <laughs> if you can't find any contradictions, and you flub up too often, don't be afraid to ask me for help. Press X when the option to consult with me appears. And I'll let you know where I think the suspicious statement is. Sounds good. I'll be counting on you if I get in a bind. Alright, it's cross-examination time. Nice. Oh, they got the little eye things. The little the stare. When the bomb went off. Originally disarmed by me when transported here as evidence. Operated by timer or with a remote. I was watching from the gallery when suddenly I became alarmed. I saw that the bomb's timer was counting down. Um... Hmm. Okay, so the bomb was originally disarmed, blah 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 blah. Okay, so... I think... I, I think I was going to... I think I was going to do 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 press. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I was gonna do. I forgot. Oi! You say that you disarmed the bomb, but are you really sure it was disarmed? Absolutely, I can disarm anything. Well, the fact that you can can disarm something doesn't mean that you did disarm something. So that doesn't really check out. But okay. I know, I know, but that doesn't mean you did it. Uh, that looks more like dismantle than disarm to me. Oh, pardon me. Let's see, is there any chance you could have forgotten to disarm the bomb? Impossible. I do not make rudimentary mistakes like that. Again, I, you might have just not done it on purpose. They say to err is human. Although, the jury's still out on this guy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, officially confirmed by this guy, right? Hmm, I guess I can rule out the possibility that he forgot to disarm it. Could you talk about the bomb in a little more detail for the court, Mr. Tonate? Tonate. Alright, give me more info. 
operated by timer or with remote. So there's a chance that it could have been detonated by remote. What was the approximate size and weight of the bomb? 10 by 10 by 10. 12 pounds, yeah. I know, I know, we're just asking. According to this, the case is made out of alloy plating 5 sixteenths of an inch thick. That certainly sounds like one thick and very heavy bit of metal. Hmm, okay. I bet if I dropped that thing on your foot, you'd be hopping. If you dropped that thing anywhere, I'd be hopping for the nearest exit. <laughs> would a- well, I guess it would. Because it would disrupt any of the- like, any disruption could possibly make it explode? Maybe? I don't know. So you were keeping an eye on the bomb. And watching from... Suddenly became alarmed. Why were you in the gallery? Duties may have been over for the moment, but I wanted to keep watch. Even though the bomb was disarmed, you can never be too careful. Explosive devices are very dangerous things, yes we know, yet you are dismantling and reassembling a said bomb. Well, I guess this one didn't have, like, the, the wires, but still. Practice disarming bombs every day. Yes, we know. Yes, we know. The disarming part I get, but assembling them? <laughs> Well, I'll have you know that I practice presenting evidence every day myself. Okay, good. <laughs> then you cannot very well call yourself a professional yet, can you? This guy needs to fucking chill. <sighs> that does it! I'm gonna start practicing having evidence presented to me every day, why? And you'd better drink some coffee, boss. We're gonna be pulling an all-nighter for all Phoenix. Uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Or worth either of our time. <laughs> okay, so he said he saw the thing counting down. But... Okay, I mean, maybe he could've with his telescope eyes, sure. But... Um... I don't really want to present. I just wanted to look at it, but okay. But, um. Could you tell how accurate the countdown was with that crack in it? And then. Even if you could, was it. It was hidden inside a stuffed animal and can be detonated remotely, is what it says. Well, I'll press it for now, but... You saw it counting down clearly, with your own eyes. I'd hardly think a timer as small as the one on this bomb could be seen from the gallery. These goggles help me- yes, 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 I figured it was the goggles. I can see what you had for breakfast by looking at your tie. What the fuck? Why do I suddenly feel like a bug under a magnifying glass? <laughs> Don't you feel like that always in court, Phoenix? No, but was it- wasn't it presented while still inside the stuffed animal? The bomb was completely hidden- yeah, that's what I'm think- that's what I'm saying. The bomb was completely hidden inside the stuffed animal. So, well- so well concealed, in fact, that it didn't even look like a bomb at all. So you're trying to find testimony that conflicts with the evidence, right? That's right. Listening carefully to Mr. Tonate's testimony is just the first step. After that, it's a matter of taking a look at any evidence that seems relevant. Remember that you open the court record when you go to present something. If you find evidence that conflicts with the testimony, present with X. <laughs> present it. Let's see, this testimony is about when the bomb went off, so I think the state it was in at the time would be pretty important. 
I didn't ask for help though, did I? <laughs> uh, maybe this is just an example of what it's like to consult. Because I thought that was optional, so we'll see. Hmm. A bomb that didn't look like a bomb because it was inside a stuffed animal, huh? Which means he couldn't have seen it. So, I'm going to present this, then, here. Nice. So you say you saw the bombs countdown, is that right? Clearly saw it counting down to zero. And I say that you are clearly lying. What are you talking about? There is no way you could have seen the bomb's timer. After all, the bomb was concealed inside a stuffed animal. Yeah, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Mr. Tonate, how can you claim to know the bomb was about to go off? When you couldn't even see the timer. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> what? And also the crack. Okay, maybe that will be addressed later. Well, I, I. Oh, that was great, Mr. Wright. You found a contradiction right off the bat. Always remember, Athena. When you find an inconsistency in a witness's testimony, there's always a reason behind it. It could be a lie, a hidden meaning, a secret. Whatever it is, it's up to us to dig it out. And pointing out every contradiction we find is the best way to do it, right, boss? Now the question is, what can we dig out of Mr. Tonate? Well, let me see. I, uh... No, no, no. There must be some mistake. Oh, yes. Yes, of course. I remember now. The sound. I knew because of the sound. What? sound? What sound? When the timer of this type of bomb is switched on, it beeps softly. Beep, beep, beep. It is the sound of the bomb counting down. Then why didn't the people near it hear it? You start to lose credibility the more you change your testimony, but... Yeah. How in the world did you hear such a tiny little sound all the way from the gallery? Listening for the sound of a bomb's timer is an integral part of my work. I constantly undergo training so that I will never miss it. I hardly think training would help you hear something so soft from so far away. What now? Are you making light of the fine science of disarming bombs? It is a solemn mission that I put my life on the line to perform. What kind of specialist would I be if I could not hear a bomb's timer? I don't know. Stop. Stop it. Now he's just showing off. Yeah, he is. He is. Shut off. Dude. What? Pain. And you're just overflowing with attractive qualities, are you? <laughs> or, and you're just overflowing with attractive qualities, are you? <laughs> Pain needs to fuck off. Or perhaps you have some proof that Mr. Tony did not hear the sound. W well, no, but... It still seems totally suspect. Totally suspect. Uh, but it's going to be really hard to prove that he didn't hear something. Well, I mean, if he... He's trained to hear it from any location, I guess, at least within the vicinity. Then everyone else should have heard it. <laughs> or at least someone right next to it should have heard it. Hold on. Hold on. Hmm. 
熱蔵くん<笑> 8.56am so like right before court literally、um, I don't know What I don't understand, Mr. Payne, is why you believe that person to be Miss Woods. That has not been clarified yet. He was there when the defendant re armed the bomb, yet he didn't stop her from putting the re armed bomb. Like, what? Even if he saw it, why did he? Like, okay, let's say this happened. Obviously, it didn't. Let's say this happened. Then, why did he not disarm the bomb that he is supposed Like, it's his job. Why didn't he stop her? Instead, he let her put it in the, the thing or rearm it, let them bring it in as evidence to be detonated inside the courtroom. That doesn't make sense. What did you see her do? Brought the bomb to the lobby for the defense. Bomb equals evidence. The lawyer wanted to see it before the start of the trial. Okay. Wait, does the remote start the countdown or does it start the bomb? Like, does it just make it explode when you press the remote? I guess it starts the countdown. The remote switch. Yeah, I know, but. A switch that starts the time bomb. Okay, starts the countdown. Okay, that's what I needed. No. It was stolen just before the blast and is now missing. Partially to blame. Left the bomb and remote on top of the transport case. And they were rearmed and stolen while I was talking with the lawyer. <laughs> Then she should have the thing with her. Like, <laughs> how can you assert so unequivocally that the bomb was rearmed in the lobby? And then why didn't you stop her if you saw her do it? And again, the bailiffs are right there. Someone other than Mr. Tonate could have opened the case and taken the bomb out. Okay. Do you see this number here? That is my identification number. And I have the only key that can open the case. So the case Tonate and Detective Arm transported the bomb in. Nevertheless, Mr. Payne's assertion is nothing more than conjecture. Hold that thought, Phoenix. <laughs> so there's a key. I see a key, like a lock. Okay. And I can't look at that. Wait, hold on. 42. You have no proof that it was Mr. Woods who stole the remote switch. And by the same token, you have no proof that it wasn't her. But what do I do? But what I do have is a piece of evidence that proves the defendant handled the bomb. Ugh. Five minutes, 24 seconds, 2.3. Desi's seconds. What? The defense's advantage lasted a mere five minutes. Can you stop making comments? Shut the fuck up. Ugh, talk about a rotten hand. No! Phoenix, don't give up! Don't give up! 
As long as they have her fingerprints as their trump card, I'm at a big disadvantage. No! No! No, 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 no. Uh, I'm worried about her condition, but we do need her testimony. On the other hand, I'm not sure I want to make Athena mad. It's a court of law, though. <laughs> I can read your feelings, you know, boss. Guess there's no hiding from her, huh? Don't worry, I know we need her testimony. But if anybody picks on her again, they'll pay. Guess she's already at anger level 1. Oh god. <laughs> How many anger levels does she have? The defense has no objections, Your Honor. No, stay! Dismantling bombs is my job. Dismantling the case is yours. Do you think you can handle it? Fuck off! You- Oh my god, this motherfucker. I look forward to seeing you try- Oh my- See- Oh my god, you just keep making yourself look worse! Dude! This guy is hiding something! I just know it! Of course he's hiding something! Let's kill him, I mean what? No! <laughs> I mean, uh... <laughs> oh my god, he's so annoying though. Aw, Junie. Hi, Dina. Aw. She looks even worse off than before. <laughs> Don't worry, Junie. We're here for you. Thanks, Dina. And I'll do my best, too. Oh my god, stop. That Dude, what? Isn't there something like... Aren't you like... What is this? What's the official term? I don't know. But anyway. No. No. Leading the way. Yeah, like, stop. <laughs> you did this because of this, right? No. No, of course not. <clears throat> I... What's that you say? I can barely hear you. You fucking... Ugh, I wanna... Oh, 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 I wanna just like... <laughs> I just... Ah. I... Does it feel good, you 55-year-old man bullying an 18-year-old girl? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I get she's a defendant, but what the hell? I, I haven't done anything wrong. This prosecutor's scary. <laughs> What an impudent little girl. Uh, stop harassing her! This is getting ugly. You rearmed the bomb because you wanted to blow up the courthouse. Admit it! That's why you went to the lobby where Mr. Justice was. Isn't that right? I mean, she would have been in the lobby because Mr. Justice was her lawyer. Like, excuse me? Oh, Mr. Wright, <laughs> can I go give that prosecutor a smack? What? Of course not. Do we have to review courtroom manners 101 again? We can't let a creep that bullies innocent girls like this off so easily. I haven't forgotten about how he treated you. Don't worry about me, just help Junie. Her heart's crying out. Aww. She's so scared. So very scared. <sighs> ah, looks like Athena's picking something up with her heightened sense of hearing. Okay, so she's got heightened hearing. And it sounds like this time it's the voice of Miss Wood's heart. Dude, 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 you're being too pushy. <laughs> 
Your Honor, please put a stop to this. Mr. Payne is badgering the defendant. Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> Behave more like a professional, dude. The actual fuck? No. 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 Absolutely not. No. Ugh, as if a gentleman or even a gentle man would behave like he does. Don't let that rude ruffian win. Athena. <laughs> How dare you call a gentleman such as I a rude ruffian? I mean, you're a piece of garbage, so... I mean, ruffian is too kind for the likes of you, but... Okay. Uh... Wow! Okay. I'll have you know I attend a manners class every Saturday. It looks like you're not learning anything. None of the information in that class is sinking into your tiny little brain, my dude. Smooth. Very smooth brain. I demand my money back from the manners class. <laughs> nah, I don't think the manners class is the problem. He's just the problem. I should probably be the adult here and stop the two of them, but it's too entertaining. I know, Phoenix. I know. I understand. I want to put him in this fucking place. Let's go. Oh, Junie. <clears throat> well, that day, I was watching from the gallery. <clears throat> the bomb went off. And rubble started falling. It fell on top of me. Wait, it fell on top of you? Are you okay? Excuse me, my throat made a weird noise. Okay. Now is the perfect time to use Athena's power, so we've got a new gimmick. Okay. We've got the perceiving from the last one, so now we got... Okay, whatever this is, hold on. <sighs> Alright, here we go. She's so scared. I think she could collapse at any second. Athena has a unique ability, you see. With her finely tuned sense of hearing, she can hear the words of a witness's heart. In essence, she can sense how a person is really feeling from the tone of their voice. Guess it's all up to Athena and her special ability now. This wouldn't go with <laughs> in court, but like, you know, video game logic, it's fine. Athena, I want you to use the analytical psychology you studied. And listen to the testimony of Miss Woods' heart. Alright, okay boss, I'll give it a go. After all, this is the whole reason I put all that effort into studying analytical f blah blah analytical psychology. All right. All right. You're so <laughs> such an old man. So your holographic thing about thing about Bob can show us how Miss Woods is feeling, right? In a nutshell, yes. The motions and images that I pick up on just now, while listening to her testimony, I can enter all of that into a widget and use the mood matrix to analyze them. Ooh, mood matrix. Aw, it's cute. <laughs> These mood markers here reflect fluctuations in Junie's emotions. <laughs> Sorry, this is so weird. Uh, when she feels happy or is enjoying the memory, the happy marker will light up. Angry. When she feels angry or frustrated, the angry marker will react. Sad. 
When she feels sadness or is frightened by a memory, the sad marker will blink. And when she feels surprised or confused, the surprised marker will let us know. Okay. It's a little complicated, but here we go. So with your special ability and Widget's Mood Matrix program, we can track how Miss Woods is how Miss Woods is feeling as she testifies. Talk about the wonders of technology. Yep. Now let's give it a shot. He still has a flip phone, doesn't he? Wow, that's noisy. Alright, if we can pinpoint these inconsistencies, the noise level should drop. Okay. Okay, it's time to listen to Miss Woods' true testimony. Oh god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so cool. Okay. Well, that day... I was watching from the gallery. The bomb went off. And rubble started falling. Why is she feeling happy? That's weird. Unexpected emotion. Yeah, no, I was just that doesn't make sense So on the last bit It fell on top of me what was it Netsuzoku the 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 the, the, the elephant The tail I don't know what fell <clears throat> when you find an unexpected emotion, you'll first need to pinpoint- Okay, so with L, pinpoint it, and then select the unexpected emotion or reaction from the four mood markers, okay? Okay, so... The happy one. Widget is registering joy when Miss Woods recalls the rubble falling on her, which is really weird. There must be a reason for this unexpected emotion. Miss Woods, as the rubble was falling, was there also something that made you feel happy? What? Why are you asking me that? That's a really weird question. Mr. Wright, the feeling of happiness is spreading throughout Junie's heart. Keep going on th this point and I bet Junie will start to calm down. Great, let's hear what she has to say. Um, <clears throat> just as I was about to escape the courtroom, the bomb went off. I was so startled. I tripped. And then rubble started falling on top of me. I really thought I was done for. But... Oh my god. <laughs> Speed knitting, wow. But just then, Apollo came and rescued me. Oh... Oh, look at those hearts! Does Junie have a crush? That's so cute. Look at the new- oh my god. A Apollo? He used his own body to shield me from the rubble! Oh. So that's when he sustained those injuries. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. How do you feel, Junie? Did talking about Apollo give you some courage? Yes, Apollo is just like the sun. Strong and bright and warm. Aww. Just talking about it makes me feel like a leaf undergoing photosynthesis. Oh my god. <laughs> and see, your coughing stopped all of a sudden. <gasps> oh, you're right. Thank you, Thena. Alright, so the noise level is down to 50%. Looks like we were able to draw out some new testimony. Okay, so Apollo shielded her from the the rubble. Now, she 
she was confused about her fingerprints. Hmm. Okay. If we can find the reason, then we should be able to try it. Okay. Let's see here. Tried to run, but too slow. So she was surprised. That, that makes sense. The bomb went off. So startled, I tripped, then rubble started falling on me. I thought I was done for. But Apollo shielded her. But she is sad. Well, I mean... I feel like sad makes sense, though. Uh, let, let's try. Let's try. Think of the mood matrix this way. This emotion is worth asking more questions about because the reasoning isn't immediately apparent. Okay. That makes sense. You were happy when Mr. Justice rescued you, weren't you? Yes. <laughs> I was really happy. But was there also something you felt sad about at the same time? Sad? The reason I ask is... When you were describing how you were rescued, we sensed a little sadness, too. Mm. Oh! I think it's probably because of bum rap rhino. What the fuck? Well, what do you know? Something new. Bum rap rhino. That is also an awful name. I brought my stuffed animal, bum rap rhino, to watch the trial with me. What the actual fuck? They're brothers. Bum- oh, okay, hold on. Hold on. Bum. Rap. Rhiny. Alright, Bum. Rap. Rhiny. Enzai-kun. Uh... Enzai-kun comes from Enzai, which means false accusation. The Zai is also derivative of Sai, meaning rhinoceros. Oh, whoops, sorry. That makes sense. Usually when you put- it's not always the case, but when you put a, uh, a word after another word, it's kind of like you soften the consonant. So like Sai, they're saying Sai means rhinoceros, but they've made it Zai, so N Zai, whatever. Not always, but that's usually like the thing. But okay, so false accusation rhinoceros. N Zai Kun is such a cute name too. Bum rap Rhiny and phony Fanti. Netsuzo Kun, N Zai Kun. Wow. The Japanese name is also not cursed. Exactly, it's not. It's not cursed. It's cute. It makes sense. It's a. It's the pun is nice and normal. <laughs> so Gumshoe clearly named the localization ones exactly. That's what he did exactly. <laughs> he did. <laughs> They're brothers. Who knew that the legal world would inspire a whole line of merchandise? I mean, Phoenix, there's also the the blue badger, the pink badger, bad badger, the blue badger, like, original, uh, it's whatever, <laughs> you know. I had Bum Rap Rainy with me while I was watching the trial. 
Wait, hold on. Let hold on. I'll hold on. Show me bum rap Rhiny, then I have an idea of what's happening. But it wasn't until Apollo saved me that I realized I lost him while I was as I was running away. My poor Rhiny, a victim of that terrible bomb. Oh, I know. You can see what he looks like in this poster. Well, no more bum wraps. What? Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> the Japanese poster says, let me see. Enzai yamete kudasai. Stop the false accusation. Is what it says. Enzai o yamete kudasai. There you go. <laughs> so much better than no more bum raps. Makes no fucking sense. So stupid. <laughs> it's for the campaign to eradicate fake evidence and false charges. Also, I was think I, I wanted to see what it looked like because the tail, if it had her fingerprint on it, is probably Mr. Bumrap's. <laughs> it's probably Bumrap's tail. Bumrap righty. God, this is awful. Enzai kun and Netsuzou kun. Whatever. Phony Fanti and Bumrap Rhiny, huh? <laughs> Nothing against the campaign, but why an elephant and a rhinoceros? I don't know. Mr. Wright, I don't sense any discord in Junie's heart anymore. <clears throat> so I guess that means we managed to dr or oh, whoops. So I guess that means we managed to draw out all of her testimony. That's right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll just make an update with the new info and we'll have the whole picture. So do you think her new testimony will help? Yes, because we got the image. Absolutely. I don't know what I would have done without you, Athena. So, bum... <laughs> so, bum rap Riney was in that courtroom when the bomb went off. Uh-huh. Now that we know that, it changes the meaning of the other piece of evidence. The tail. All I have to do is present it. At the right statement. Seriously, they could not have workshopped this more. <laughs> or could they not have workshopped this more? Exactly. Aww. Bum rap. <laughs> Enzai Kun is so cute. Okay, was watching with Bum Rap Rhiny. I tried to run, but I was too slow. Before I could get out of the courtroom, the bo bomb went off. I was so startled I tripped, then rubble started falling, I thought I was done for. Then Apollo came and rescued me. Okay, so... Bum rap Rhiny. I'm assuming this is not Phony Fanty's tail, but this is Bum rap Rhiny's tail. There you go. <laughs> Miss Woods, I know this trial has been very hard for you, but you can relax now. You are without a doubt innocent. This game is rated M. <laughs> Mr. Wright, what wild assertion are you making now? I mean, my wild assertion is simply this. The two stuffed animals were mixed up. The tail the defendant's fingerprints were found on wasn't that a phony fancy. It was the tail of her gallery companion, Bum Rap <laughs> Bum Rap Riney. What? What nonsense is that? I concede they're both stuffed animals, yes, but they're completely different characters. But they're brothers and they have the same tail. An elephant and a rhino, they're as distinct as a defense lawyer and a prosecutor. I mean, you wouldn't know until you told the profession. Well, I mean, to be fair, they have their badges. Also, Mr. Payne, where's your badge? 
But are they really so different? Both defense lawyers and prosecutors strive to protect the peace through law. Even elephants and rhinos have some similar characteristics. They're both gray, for example. Well, I mean, not these ones, but you're not wrong. Anyway, this poster is all I need to prove my assertion to be true. Also, the rhino has Phoenix's suit. It does, doesn't it? I can't look at the poster, though. But the colors... Oh my god, that's so cute. Yeah, oh my god! They're so cute! The necktie's a little bit wrong, but it's just muted. It's okay. That is so adorable. If I may direct the court's attention here, you'll clearly see how the two got mixed up. Right, 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 right. Did wrong button. Right there. Well, would you look at that? The two tails are exactly the same. Yeah, they are, Judge. Yes, exactly. The two stuffed animals are based on entirely different animals, but the design of the tails is exactly the same. Yes, there it is! <laughs> he has a comb over under the comb over. God, I don't like. Oh my god. Fuck you, Pain. Oh, that was great, Mr. Wright. You turned things right around. Yeah, it's not over yet, but at least we managed to hold out this long. I believe that brings our proceedings for today to a close. Mr. Pain, I'm afraid you have some serious investigating ahead of you. Y yes, Your Honor. Very well, let us reconvene tomorrow. Wait, this is a multi-day first trial? Wow. Multi-day first trial. Or first case. <laughs> I feel like we had another one before. I just don't remember which one it was. Oh well. 11.56. It's been about two hours. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's cute. That was so exciting, boss! We did it! True to form, you managed just to just barely pull it off at the very last moment. Wow. True to form? Gee, I never knew you had such a glowing opinion of me. <laughs> I mean, Phoenix, she's not really wrong, though. I just like that Phoenix is definitely in law textbooks now. He is, he is. The one of <laughs> the one attorney defense lawyer to be disbarred for seven well, like seven years and then be able to come back. <laughs> And then like gather evidence for all those seven like dude he oh my god <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you for everything you're doing. You did great, Miss Woods. You really stuck it out. And the jury system, yeah that too. I forgot about that. <laughs> that is also true. He did all that, yep. And you got really brave at the end, just when we needed you most, Junie. Thanks to you, we were able to turn things around. Well, you were the ones who gave me that courage, Thina. Really? <laughs> Thanks. Oh my god! <laughs> they really went crazy with the expressions. But then again, this one and well, Apollo Justice was made after they made like the Layton one, right? Like Phoenix Wright versus Professor Layton, maybe.
which I still need to play, but, um, the great Ace attorney goes bananas with expressions. They do. Yes. It's, um, not just that, but their character designs too. They really went like crazy with those mocap. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. But yeah, I do want to play uh, that one, the Phoenix Wright versus Professor Layton at some point. I don't know if I'll stream it, but I should play it. Looks fun. <laughs> but Athena, you know, oh my god. So, to be honest, was I any help at all? Of course. Without you, we would have never gotten out of that tight spot. That's good to hear. Oh, she's so cute. It's fully voice acted too. Really? That's fun. Okay, I have to play that at some point. I may still have a lot to learn, but you can bet I'm going to give it my all. I'll be so good that one day you'll call me your partner. That's what I like to hear. Analytical psychology, the ability to solve the riddles of a person's heart. Athena's true potential is beginning to really shine through now. Hey, where's Apollo anyway? Hmm, good question. I almost forgot about him. D no! <laughs> I assumed he'd still be here in the lobby. I mean, he shouldn't. He should be in the hospital, but okay. Maybe he's checking it out? Oh, that's so sweet. I told him I dropped Rainy in the courtroom as I was trying to escape before the blast. And then... Apollo said he had an idea where Riney might be, so we went to take a look together. Huh. I guess Apollo can be pretty nice when he wants- What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> so, you went looking for Riney together before you were called back into courtroom number five? Please don't be passed out on the floor, you dingus. He's like bleeding out in the courtroom. <laughs> oh my god. With all those injuries, I wonder how he's managing. I think Apollo might have figured something out. Hmm, wonder what it was. He told me, I'm going to look for evidence to clear your name, Juniper. Aww. Just maybe he found some new piece of evidence? Okay. Let's check on the lad. So courtroom number four is the destroyed one. Odoroki Hosuke. Odoroki Senpai. Yep. What did you fucking expect? Wait, no, wait, that wait, wait. Did someone hit him or did he just fall? Dumbass, yeah, like, what? <laughs> one, what did they expect? He was, like, he passed out already once. And two, Apollo, what are you doing up? And about searching when you passed out earlier. Fucking Christ, my dude. 